Hi all, welcome to Glow Pink. I'm Dr. Rashmi Tian, consultant obstetrician and a gynecologist. So in this video, I'm going to discuss about the 10 common questions a girl wants to ask a gynecologist. Number one, is it normal to have pain during periods? The pain during periods is called dysmenorrhea. Many of you must be experiencing the pain during your periods, first two or three days during your periods is normal. But if you're having pain probably one to two days before your period starts, then you need to get yourself examined by the gynecologist. So there are two kinds of dysmenorrhea. One is the primary dysmenorrhea and second is secondary dysmenorrhea. The primary dysmenorrhea is normal. This is because of the uterine contraction which happens during periods. The secondary dysmenorrhea is because of secondary to some other issues in the reproductive organ. For example, because of fibroid, adenomyosis or PID or additions which can cause pain during your periods and this is called secondary dysmenorrhea. If you're having pain during your periods which is causing you to miss your work or your school then you need to visit your gynecologist. A simple analgesic if you're having a primary dysmenorrhea will help you to ease your pain and improve the quality of life. But if you're having secondary dysmenorrhea, the cause has to be treated. Before proceeding further with our video, do check out Gloping Detan Face Pack. From tan to detan in no time naturally, Gloping Detan Skin Whitening Face Pack reduces sun damage, provide glowing and bright skin instantly, removes the dead skin to get a soft and smooth texture. Gloping Detan Face Pack is now available on Amazon, Flipkart and Gloping.com. Check out now. 2. When should be my first gynecological visit? The gynec visit can be as early as 13 to 15 years and this visit is very very important. During this visit, you can discuss about the body changes which happens, the hormonal change which happens, how to keep your personal hygiene, the sex education, how to prevent pregnancies and STDs, how to have a healthy lifestyle. And all these things are important in a very early life. You don't have to be scared to visit your gynecologist because during this visit, most of the time, there will not be a physical examination and then unless you have any other issues like menstrual irregularities or there could be pain in the periods or any other thing, unless there is an issue, there will not be a physical examination. Number three, I'm having acne. Does it mean I have PCOS? Having an acne does not diagnose to have PCOS. PCOS patients will have other symptoms such as obesity, weight gain, there can be excessive hair on the body, on the face, chest, back, there can be menstrual irregularities. Just by having an acne, we cannot diagnose whether you have PCOS or not. You need to get a scan done, you need to get a couple of hormonal tests done and together it can be clubbed to know whether you have PCOS or not. Number four, is it normal to have periods every 24 days? Yes, it is normal to have periods every 24 days. Normally, the interval between one period to another can be as early as 21 days to 35 days. So if you're having periods between 21 to 35 days, then that is normal. If you're having periods before 21 days or after 35 days, or if you're having more bleeding during your periods, or if your flow of the bleeding is more than seven days, or if you're having bleeding in between your periods, then this is considered abnormal. If you're having any of these symptoms, then you need to get yourself checked to know what exactly is the cause for your menstrual irregularities. Number five, I have missed my period. Does it mean I'm pregnant? The most common reason for a woman to miss her periods if she is sexually active, yes, of course, it could be pregnancy. But then all women who have skipped her periods may not be pregnant. So the best way to know whether you're pregnant or not is by doing a pregnancy test. It could be a simple urine pregnancy test or it could be a blood test. So with this, we can confirm whether you're pregnant or not. Otherwise, if the pregnancy test is negative, 
then you can get yourself a scan along with a thyroid and a prolactin test to know any reasons for you to skip your periods. The commonest reasons that we see for a woman to skip her periods could be any problem with her thyroid or it could be PCOS or it could be increasing your prolactin levels. So these three are usually the commonest reason for a woman to skip her periods. Number six, I feel tired, I feel irritable before my periods and why? You can feel tired, you can feel irritable, you can have mood swings, you can have changes in your appetite, you can have breast pain before your period starts a few days before your periods and this is called premenstrual syndrome or PMS. PMS happens because of the hormonal changes in your body during your menstrual cycle. If you're having PMS, you don't have to let your problems manage your day. A simple change in your lifestyle like doing regular exercise and having a healthy diet like avoiding junk or irritated drinks or caffeine and then including a, a balanced diet will help you to ease your PMS. If you're unable to manage PMS with these kind of changes then you need to visit your gynecologist to help to ease your PMS. I am having itching and foul smelling discharge down there from past few days does it mean I am having vaginal infection. Normally a woman can have white discharge during her cycle. Like few women can have white discharge 2-3 to three days before her cycle or during ovulation and this is normal. The amount, the consistency depends on your cycle. It can be creamy or it can be egg yolk consistency and the amount can also vary throughout your cycle. But then if the discharge is of greenish or yellowish or if it is uh, having any kind of a foul smell or if it is associated with any kind of itching or if it's a curdy white or a cottage cheese type of discharge then yes it might indicate vaginal infections. If you're having any of these symptoms better get yourself examined by the gynecologist because vaginal infection can be caused by bacteria, protozoa or a fungal infection. So the gynecologist will examine you and then decide what kind of infection you are having and give you the appropriate medications for it. Number eight, use of public toilets causes urinary tract infection. Is it true? No, the use of public toilets does not cause urinary tract infection because when you're passing urine, your part is in the air. It is not touching the commode for the bacteria to come in contact with the urinary tract. But then, yes, you can get infection from E. coli or salmonella if your hands are not washed and if you have touched an infected area. But then getting a urinary tract infection from public toilet is very, very unlikely. How to keep my private areas clean? Simple soap and water is enough to keep your private area clean. Your soap should not be perfumed. A simple plain soap is enough to wash the area. Do not doubt your vagina and then use clean cotton loose undergarments. Try to avoid synthetic undergarments. And when you wash your area with soap, your hand movement should be from front to back and not from back to front. In this way, you can prevent vaginal infections as well as urinary tract infections. But then, is it safe to use oral contraceptive pills to prevent pregnancy? Does it have an impact on the fertility if used for a longer period of time? There are different kinds of oral contraceptive pills available in the market. The newer oral contraceptive pills have low dose of hormones and lesser side effects. If you have decided to use oral contraceptive pills, better is to discuss with your gynecologist. During your discussion, she will try to evaluate whether you have any risk if you use oral contraceptive pills. The major benefit of using oral contraceptive pill is prevention of pregnancy, which is almost 99 to 97% effective. But then it is not effective to prevent sexually transmitted diseases or STDs. The barrier method is the best method to prevent STDs. If you're using oral contraceptive pills for a longer period of time, it does not impact your fertility. But then if you're using it for a longer period of time, your age is also increasing along with it. 
Age has an impact on your pregnancy. The more you age, there can be a chances that it can impact your fertility and less likely that oral contraceptive pill itself having an impact on the fertility. So these are the 10 common questions a girl wants to ask a gynecologist. I hope this video has helped you. Uh, keep watching Gloping, like, subscribe and comment and uh, stay home, stay safe, stay healthy. Do check out our toxin-free skincare range at gloping.com.